Hey guys, welcome back. This is day number 54 of Trading Futures Every Day Till I Become Profitable. I'm happy to be back home again, although I had a great time on my trip. We were going nonstop, but I'm, I'm glad to be home. We stayed in the UK, France, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Austria, and we passed through Belgium, seven countries. But I'm ready to get back at trading, make this thing a reality. It's gonna take a while to get back into the groove of, groove of um, YouTube videos and stuff, but I'm looking forward to it. So basically I'm just gonna focus on keeping things simple by simplifying my, um, my trading. I'm just gonna look for very obvious sweeps of liquidity, which I have outlined, which I think I've showed you guys before. Wait for a very, ob very obvious sweep of liquidity and along with some confluences, look for an inverse fair value gap and that's pretty much it so yeah you guys will see the confluences for these two trades you can kind of see them above my head here but i took two trades today first a loser and then a winner right after so yeah first thing i'll do is show you guys the footage right now of the of the two trades playing out So yeah, leave in the comments what you guys think about those two trades, what you would have personally done differently, or what I did, what you think I did correctly. But yeah, I'm happy with uh, how I performed today, and I did get a bit lucky with my exits. Like, look at this exit right here. Look, when you hover over it, it'll show you exactly where. So you see that little arrow that's pointing to the right? That's exactly where I got out, at right around 6.5 risk reward uh, for final TP. But this trade, this first trade I lost, I, w I don't know... I don't know what I should be risking right now, so I just risked 150. Eventually, I'll be risking a lot more once I start to get into the groove of things and get more confidence. But I risked 150 first trade, lost 150, risk 150 second trade. I think I made f about 450 on this trade. So, yeah, because I took partials, it was a lower risk reward. But I'm super happy with this. Was going to aim for... Um, Asia lows, which I actually got out right at Asia lows pretty much, thankfully. But yeah, that, that was a good TP, I feel, Asia lows. Could have also aimed for previous day low, but it didn't end up getting hit after. Would have been a really big TP, like 1 to 12 or something. But overall, a lot of confluences for this trade. And the second trade was basically a re-entry that I learned from um, some of you guys in the comments, but mostly from... Um, my mentor that I have calls one-on-one -on -one with sometimes so really happy about that worked out great so really just got to get into the to the groove of things like I've been saying and try to battle the feeling of like not becoming profitable quick enough because I know different people take longer to become profitable and it's not it's not something that's totally in your control like you can't set a date you just got to do whatever you can to uh, reach your goal and let time take its course and that's it so that's what I'm doing basically. Just gotta be patient and not be too hard on myself. So thanks for the uh, encouraging words in the comments, guys. It really means a lot. Oh, final, final, final things. So I mentioned it before, my friend that got me back into trading a few months ago, or like maybe like six, seven, eight months ago, he was away in a different province for work for a while, but he came back and this was, and this is his first day trading and he's up four percent on his forex challenge just today so that's definitely got to like light the fire under him again for sure make him bring back that passion if he didn't if he lost some of it so that's dope then i'll get to talk to him today at the gym about trading and stuff which i'm really looking forward to i haven't seen him for like three months or something but also even more exciting maybe for you guys is my friend who i introduced to trading about six months ago he just got his third payout from his first ever futures challenge that he ever ever did so yeah super super motivating and uh, i hope he gets more payouts in the future and he doesn't ever blow this account that'd be awesome if you guys stayed this long here is your treat a little puppy about eight weeks old here she is look look at this just the cutest little thing ever bro look at that oh my goodness love this puppy but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'm, I'm super happy how the first day went. So hopefully I'm not jinxing it right now, and we can continue to see some good results. So just keep doing the same thing every day. 
uh, keep coming back and find some time for um, back testing now that I'm laid off, no job. So yeah, guys, have a good night and I will see you tomorrow for day number 55 of Trading Futures every day till I become profitable. Thanks for sticking around.